Hello everyone, what's up, JWisp here, and welcome to episode 1 of my Cube World Let's Play. You guys have no idea right now how excited I am, how happy I am, all the crazy emotions I'm feeling, because I have been waiting for this game, like many others, for the past 6 years, and I could not be more thrilled that it is finally released. Literally, today is a Monday, it's September 23rd. I'm one of the lucky few who get to play the beta, um, because you only get to play the beta if you've had the game before, which I did. I literally have school today, I don't care, I woke up super early as soon as it released, which for me is around like 3 or 4 a.m. Uh, and here I am, ready to play. This game, oh, it's been such a wild adventure. If you follow the developers on Twitter and Instagram, you know that since 2013 they have been constantly on and off teasing different updates and finally finally we have gotten it i haven't played any of this yet i literally just downloaded the update i just got on the game um and i'm super excited to play i hope you guys enjoy me um playing this game and follow me on the journey i plan to do many things with this game not only a let's play but also tutorials how to's things like that i want to play with some other people um if there are options for having big scale servers, maybe having a server with you guys too. Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked for this. Uh, and I know a lot has changed, so let's jump in the world, the cube world, and make a new character. <clears throat> so here we have it. Ah, uh, the classic, classic human character. Oh, uh, this guy's a warrior. Oh, I wonder, is this the human skin or... Oh, they actually, at the character customization screen, they actually gave each class type, let me see. Yeah, they gave each class type a clothing set. So here we have the first class, which is the warrior. Next is the ranger. Then the mage. We have the rogue. Did they add any? No, okay, just that. So, I have decided that I will not play a mage simply because I feel like a lot of people are going to play a mage because one of the videos Wale put on his YouTube channel was titled 16 minutes of mage gameplay and a lot of people really fell in love with the new water mage mechanics and so I know a lot of people uh, including a lot of my friends are going to be playing that so I will not be playing a mage um, but let's go through here I think what I want to do is I think I want to be a rogue because when I played cube world previously I was a rogue. I had a lot of fun with it, so it'll be something I'm familiar with, but also they have updated each class, so it'll be also a new experience. So here we have it, a rogue. Let's go through the races. I don't know if they've changed anything. Human. Then we have the good old elf. We have the dwarf. All oh, the dwarfs. Oh, the dwarfs are ugly as usual. Sorry, dwarf. <clears throat> then we have the orc. Also ugly as usual. <laughs> we have the goblin, which... I don't know, it's kind of kind of cute, I guess. We have the lizard boy. Oh, everyone everyone loves the lizards. The lizards are always cool. Then we have the undead. Undead are always looking cool. And then we got our frog boy here. So I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm trying to remember back what I played originally. We have human elf, dwarf, orc. Not that I'm just trying to recreate my original character, but... I would like, should I do a frogman? I don't know if a rogue would do well on a frog, you know what I mean? You know what, let's go for it, who cares? Alright, <laughs> let's start customizing him. Uh, let's get these different faces. Oh, he has some happy faces, he has a silly face. Um, I think I want to go with this one, he looks really happy. Let's see different haircuts. Oh, haircuts just change his eyes. Uh, one, two, three. I like this one, he looks really happy. Four, I like. <clears throat> let's go for four. And then, can I change? And does the color actually? No, it doesn't affect anything. All right, well, here we have our little frog boy. Um, let's just go ahead and name him J Wisp. He can just be named after us. Create character. And then... Oh, wait. What? Wait, that's not how it worked before. Previously, you'd create a character and then create a world. This just automatically puts me in a world. So... Here we are! Oh, and the music starts. Oh my god. <sighs> Sorry, I know I've, I'm fangirling a little bit. Um, let's see, space to jump still? Yes. Here we have the Shrine of Life. Can I do anything with this? No. Um, still control? No, I can't press control to climb. 
Um, it's also not letting me zoom in or out. So let me open the map here. Actually, a lot of it's preloaded here. Um, <clears throat> oh, it shows... I hear something walking towards me. What is that? Are you friendly? Hold on, who is this? A gnome trader. What are these? Are these apples? Apples. Ooh, they actually just fall off the tree? Let's talk to this guy. Oh, he has some stuff for us. Okay. Oh, so this is what I have in my inventory. I actually have a few items. Uh, and he sells different ores, uh, which you can use to craft different weapons. I'm not sure what the crafting um, button is. Oh, and then also you see on the left here, let me, um, how do I escape this? B? If I open B, um, it shows my stats. So I'm level one. Currently my weapon and armor level are pretty low, um, just because I just started out. It shows my stats. But let's see here, we're given different weapon options. So the first one is, you know, your classic rogue left, right, um, you know, type of daggers. What are the other weapons? We have a long sword. Oh, that is a really long, long sword. Okay, that's kind of fun. Um, and then we also have these iron fists. Let's check out these. <clears throat> these are kind of fun. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna stick with these for a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Um, so we have a shrine. Previously, I know that in the game, it was northeast of, <clears throat> excuse me, your spawning location um, was your first village. I'm not sure if that still holds true. Uh, I think I'm just going to open the map and kind of wing it, see what happens. Let's check on this bush. Oh, you know what? Here, let's just, let's test the different weapon types on this bush. Oh, he's got a little, look, animation, this little happy animation from when he's fighting. Okay, so there we have that. That's kind of fun. Oh, we got a log. Okay you guys okay they look kind of tough they're, they're blue which means they're kind of hard to beat um there's some new enemies up there i've never seen that enemy what are these guys <clears throat> i just have to i'm curious what are these rocklings those are definitely new i have not seen those before uh, i kind of here's the thing i really wish i had face cam right now i might do it in the future so you guys could see the enormous smile i have on my face right now because i literally have been waiting for this game Oh, wait, I right-clicked. It's... Oh, stealth is my special ability. Okay. So, shift to stealth. Oh, that's cool. So, if I hold shift, I can stealth and walk. And he has this little... Look look when he walks with his little stealth animation. He just kind of bounces around on his tippy toes. Oh, my gosh. That's adorable. All right, here. Let's check out the map here. Um, we are currently in Syria Hills. Are there any towns around here? I don't see any towns. Maybe they just won't show up on the map. Here, let me click on another landmass. Um. Oh, I don't know if we can see, because we are just surrounded by water. I think we should head in. <clears throat> what? Let's see. Northeast is this direction, and it looks like there's a lot of land here. So I think we should head northeast, anyways. Um, and maybe we'll run into a village. Maybe we won't. This is just totally different. Also, the entire world generation, I expected it to be the same, but it looks pretty, you know, different from the original game. So, I don't know. I'm just so stoked to be playing this right now. Um, I'm pretty much just going to collect everything I find because I'm not sure. The horses. Um, I'm not sure what's valuable and what's not. If I attack one, will they all start attacking me? Okay, they kind of just look at me, so I'm not going to pick a fight with them. I'm afraid they're kind of tough. Oh, here we have some sheep. Sheep are pretty easy. Um, the sheeps and the flies are fighting. <clears throat> okay, let's take on a sheep. Oh, dang, we knocked him out. Okay, our special ability is definitely pretty powerful. Um, when we do this special ability, it also tries to put us into stealth, which I do not want to do. So I wonder, how do I use my health potion? I don't know what the new button for the health potion is. Um... Oh, actually, it's on the bottom left of my screen. Q for a life potion. It's called life potion now. Okay. It used to just be called... Oh, and here we have the heart flowers. You use these to actually create the potions. Or at least you did in the past. I assume... Oh. <clears throat> this boy looks tough. He's just coming for us. Okay, should we try to take him on? Oh, nope, nope. And... <laughs> we got our first death. We just turned into a pile of pixels. All right, let's head northeast... I guess I've now learned if a mob's name is not white, uh, run away. Okay, these guys are going to try to fight us, but it's okay. I'll just I'll walk through it. Hopefully, they leave us alone. Please, everything's out to kill me here. Let's get some of these apples. Maybe I can eat them. Oh, okay. I guess I can't carry any more apples. Um, you used to be able to carry 50 of the same item. So, currently, I've spawned in the world, and everything is trying to kill me. 
So, <laughs> I mean, that's Cube World for you. That's how it is. Except there seems to be a lot more enemies than usual. Um, how it was in the past is the enemies around me when I spawned in um, were kind of friendly. Lava Lake? <clears throat> what is this? Um, but it seems like there's a lot of hostile enemies around me. Let's get this bush. Plant fiber. Can I go in this little middle thing? Or not? Like, what happens if I touch the lava? Yep, it, okay, it hurts. I mean, I assumed it would hurt, so I don't know if I just have to, like, swim across and get up top, or what? Are you friendly? Unholy Pact. So I wonder if that's one of the new factions, or... <clears throat> I don't know, I'm not really sure what's up with that. Oh, here we have some frog boys. Are you friendly? Hello? Okay, they're looking at me. So I don't think they're hostile unless I hurt them. So I'm just going to stay out of their way. We have something up there. That's a temple. I don't know if the main goal anymore is to find a village. Like, I don't know. Maybe someone has a quest for me that I can do. Um, or maybe I'm just supposed to level up and go throughout the world. But previously, it seemed like the way you would start in a world is you spawn in, you create your world, you head northeast to your first village, and then you just kind of kept finding villages from there. So... I don't know, it seems different, because I'm not seeing any pathways to villages, um, I'm not seeing any on my map, so it's definitely a lot different, but let's check out this little thing. Okay, the bark beetles. <clears throat> what are those? Hold on, what are those things in the background? All right, are these guys friendly? Okay, these goblins are, but what are these? These things are kind of cool. Alpha dogs? These boys are cool. Okay, who are these guys? They're from the... Kotarar Kingdom. Oh, he has the emote. How do I do the emote now? Uh, hello, my name is Belzik. You look like a treasure hunter. As she discovered a divine harp in Sano Forest Northeast. So I got a little ding. I don't know if you guys heard that. I don't know if that means... <clears throat> I have a heart. Why is he confused? about a muddy artifact so is this a quest or what I don't know what it wants me to do okay if I bring an enemy over here are they gonna help me fight him <coughs> I guess the dogs aren't hostile just unless I attack them um so she did say northeast of here so I'll head northeast in a second um, oh that's actually the direction I'm going Oh, we got the mythical log. Okay, how do I climb up here? Is it just space bar? Oh, E to climb, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know though. I'll have to see what the kind of different items are. Oh, dang, I can't climb that high yet. Um, because I'm curious. I don't know what that artifact is that they're talking about. Hold on, let me wait for my stamina to regenerate all the way, and then I'll try to, um, climb up here. No, how do I? No. I can't. I need to, like, parkour this. How do I, I'm having so much trouble. I think, okay, I think if I just press E once, I climb until I press E again. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. Okay, so there's something. Oh, this is just... <clears throat> long ago... Corterians, Cotari, uh, okay, Syria. Is that it? Okay. Oh, I see. If I look in my chat, it says Kotar Kingdom lore increased to 10%. So I wonder what happens when you find enough lore about an area. Does it just give you an item, or do you get more XP, or better mobs or I don't, I don't know how this works um so if i ask any random questions i apologize like i really don't know the answers to any of this i haven't looked into this nor do i think anyone else really knows the answers because wallet has just simply told us what has been added into the game he didn't really tell us functions or how things work so i don't know if those ruins i just discovered were the things that that one person was talking about oh god this guy's strong um 
or if they were talking about something else. Okay, I think he's walking faster than me, so I'm going to just try to run away. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they, they just said go northeast. I'm going to keep going northeast. This guy does not look happy. I feel like one more hit from him and I'm dead. <clears throat> I don't really know how I'm supposed to level up, though, because, oh my god, there's so many of them. Everything is so immensely stronger than me that I really just don't stand a chance against any of this. Um, I am going to drink one of my health potions now, just so in case I do get in a quarrel with someone. <clears throat> okay. Here's kind of a glitched rock boy. Okay, are the only enemies in this mountain area are these rocklings? Okay, but look how cool that is. Look at that mountain. I'm sorry. That is awesome. So this is a good little vantage point to kind of see. Okay, it looks like... No, those aren't pathways. The little brown spots I was looking at. Yeah, there's a road. I don't know if it leads to anything. It kind of looks like a road. Um, I'm probably going to take some fall damage. It's okay. Oh, we actually didn't take fall damage. We just got kind of stunned. I'm just going to keep heading northeast, though. It doesn't really look like there's any enemies or things around. So I will be back with you guys once I kind of find something of interest. Okay. I have to be very quiet. I, if I press... um, Oh, wait. Actually, I can sneak with stealth. There's these dudes here, and I don't know what they are. But they're from the Cult of Doom. They're called Dark Cultists. They actually look kind of cool. Um, I don't think they're friendly. I think they are hostile. And they look pretty strong, so I'm just going to kind of stealth past here. Hopefully they don't notice me. I really don't want to get in a fight with anyone right now. Um, here's someone. It's a goblin. He's from this kingdom, too. A witch lives in the old hut east of here. She has petrified the village. Okay, there's a water droplet. You must defeat her to break the curse. Okay. Well, I guess that's our first quest, then. <clears throat> so I guess we just have to, instead of find a village, just kind of walk around and find a quest or an objective. Um, everyone's part of this coal court. What is it? I can't pronounce it. Coat, Coterar, Coterar. I apologize. I was pronouncing it wrong. Kingdom. I don't know. Oh, something is in the distance. Um, I don't know what this kingdom is. Maybe this kingdom is just this overarching area. I don't see any kingdoms, but maybe man-made items just don't. Oh, I see it. You guys see that? I see some sort of kingdom in the background. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I'm excited. I also apologize. Um, I've had to clear my throat quite a few times. My throat's just been acting up a little bit. Uh, here's some caterpillars. Not going to fight them. I see that big kingdom, though. That must be this kingdom everyone's part of. And then I'm sure I can find out more lore. I'm sure defeating this witch will help us. I don't know if all the quests and names and items and everything in this game is randomly generated. Um, or if everyone starts in the same world. Because I started in the... I forget what it's called. Was it like... Um, whatever the name of the woods were where I started. I think it seems like every world I see someone else spawn and has the same thing. So I wonder if everyone just has the same world. Because it didn't say enter a seed. So I wonder if he just removed the random world generation and just gave everyone the same world. I can see some benefits to that, but I can also see some downsides. Some benefits are if someone finds some really cool armor or weapons or good grounding, grinding spot, um, you know, they can tell other people and they can just go there in their world. But a downside is I kind of liked having randomly generated unique worlds, but maybe while I just decided that with the whole class system and quest system, um, it might not be the best move to have something like that. So I, I can see why he might change it, but I don't know. Let's just keep heading east here. I don't know if this is the kingdom or if that's just the area they were talking about. Here's a turtle. I wonder if we can take on this guy. Turtles are usually pretty strong, but... Okay, good. I can stun him. Knockout. There we go. Okay, we got some XP from that, too. Let's see what level we are. Are we still level 1? Do we still just get 1 XP from each kill? Oh, I don't know where my XP bar is. <clears throat> Do I have an XP bar? 
Um, C. Oh, C is crafting. Maybe I'm just missing something. Huh. I don't know. I, I'm probably just missing something, and I'm just dumb. I, I really don't know. Um, so I'm heading east here. I don't know if this is the village that they were talking about. This doesn't really look like a village. This looks like a whole kingdom. Um, but the worlds are definitely more interesting because all we had previously was some random villages. And now we actually have kingdoms and, you know, a witch village and this hut in the background that I have no idea what this is. Um, I might try to buy some glass bottles if I can because I'm kind of running low. <gasps> we have some doggies. Okay. I know I can get a pet, too. I know I can get these guys as pets. I just have to... Ooh, let's fight these. These moles are pretty easy to fight. Oh, but uh, you know what? I bet if I fight one, they all start attacking me. Um, but I know I can get a dog as long as I get the right food. I forget what foods equate to what animals, but... Yeah, okay. Now that I realize it, there might be villages on the map, and I'm just not seeing them. Um, oh, here's that kingdom they were talking about. Um, but... Yeah, because this map is really big. The map was definitely scaled a lot different in the past. Okay, here's something. Oh, this looks like a dungeon. Ooh, look at this music. Oh, mm, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think this is a friendly kingdom. He doesn't look friendly. Nor can I even go inside. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that thing is definitely not okay you know what I'm, I'm just gonna walk past uh we're gonna pretend we didn't see him here we have some guys from this kingdom as well here's another revival station here's some fruits lemons i'm just gonna keep heading east then because i don't know if that's what they were talking about about the witch didn't really seem like a place a witch would hang out here we have some horses um, I'm just really not sure what I'm going to do, and I don't think anyone's going to be really sure for a while until more of this game kind of, you know, gets figured out by the players playing it. Okay. So it didn't seem like the other horses attacked us, but it seems like after every fight, I need health. But I'm running out of health potions, and to make more, I need glass bottles. But I can't buy any because I'm not running into any villages. So I have sort of a predicament here. Okay, here's here's a little high ground point. Here's some moles. I'm not going to try to fight them right now. What are these red things? Mole hill. Okay. Don't want to attack those. Here's some stuff in the distance. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> Maybe it wasn't straight east of here? Cuz I don't I don't see a village. Oh. There it is. The old hut. Okay, that, that must be what he was talking about. I wonder if there's a place where I can see my active quests. Um, options? Backpack? There has to be something that shows my level. I don't know. I, I'm, I just really don't know. I don't think anyone really knows, but... I'm sure I'll figure it out. Maybe my level is just kind of random, or it just doesn't tell you your XP. I also see there's some stats in the upper right hand corner um, of the screen, but that doesn't really, none of that seems too important. Um, oh wait, I accidentally opened chat, didn't mean to do that. But let's just head over, there's the old hut, okay, I guess it wasn't straight east. Oh, we have some bats over there. Um, I'm gonna try to take her on, I don't know if I'll be able to, it seems like there's two things. There's the old hut, it's gonna be a long climb. And then there's some sort of floating city or... T maybe it's not floating. Maybe it just hasn't loaded in yet. But um, there we have another hut in the water. I think that's just one of those respawn places. Oh, didn't mean to fall. Okay. Let's drink a good old water bottle. No, it does seem like that town is full. It seems like there's a lot of stuff over there. Oh, wait. Here's a little... Are you friendly? These people are friendly. I wonder if they have anything I can buy. Because I have a little bit of money now. Do you want a boat? Do you want in northeast of here? Okay, he has a boat. 
you look strange wow things i wonder if i'm just supposed to kind of memorize things on my own then um can i craft anything no not really okay <laughs> not really um can i buy anything nope okay I said northeast here i can get a boat how far northeast because maybe 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 a witch a witch hunt isn't the best thing for us right now. Okay, all of these guys are gonna kill me. Here, let's just try to look. I don't see any farms. Um, huh. I wonder, I really just don't, I don't see anything in the distance over there. Here we have, I don't know, let's just start heading towards some of this stuff. Um, but I don't want to bore you guys, so I will be back once I find something, again, of interest. Alright, so I made my way on an island here. There's the witch hut. But over here... I don't know what this is. I also see some stuff in the distance. I don't know if that's underwater or what, but that looks... What is this thing? Does this do anything? I don't think so. Huh. Um... Well, never mind. I, I thought something would happen. I don't know. I, I just... I'm, I'm at a total loss, honestly. Um, as to quite literally and figuratively what direction to go. Because I, I know someone told me to go to this witch hut. But it seems like this hut is probably going to be too hard for us to fight. Simply because I don't really have anything to heal myself you know what i mean i mean i have a life potion i have two of them but it seems like after every fight i need a new one unless the only thing i need to fight is the witch if the only thing i need to beat is the witch i can do that um because i see more of these sh life temples or whatever in the distance i just wish i could find a village because that's what made it easy you could find a village you could harvest the plants outside of the village sell those plants and with that money, kind of buy all the starter weapons and food and glass bottles you needed. Oh, I see the witch. She's on the map now. She's pretty ugly. Um, but they also said that the witch turned people in this village evil. So if I don't have to fight them, maybe if I kill the witch, everyone turns good. And then this turns into my first village. I really don't know. It might be easier if I figure out first if everyone does have the same world or not. Because if everyone does, then I can try to find a, um, try to kind of, you know, find some direction. Um, it doesn't seem like there's something in the distance. That might be a that might be a town. If if this witch is, um, too hard, I might head over there. What direction is that? That's south. Okay. Oh no! It seems like everyone here is nice. I don't know what they were talking about a village here. Um, but yeah, this witch seems like she's gonna be a little tough for us to defeat okay here we have some battle music bring it on witch how do you get in the house what oh the door duh oh oh she's a fire mage as well okay can you come out here because fire mages are strong what is she doing I think I just have to avoid her abilities. Okay, wait, I knocked her out. I don't know how I can avoid her abilities though. Can I get her to come outside? Because I have to keep constantly moving and she's just constantly using abilities. I wonder, can I hurt her throughout the win through the window? What if I equip um, the long sword? Oh, the long sword might actually be the way to go. Because then I can kind of. Oh, I don't know what that was. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's drink really fast. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, um. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this. She's very deadly. And I'm dead. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not... 
Oh, we're all the way back here. At this lava lake, and we were there. Oh no. <laughs> this <laughs> has been a crazy adventure. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Um, but anyways, I think what we will do in the next episode is head to that village. I think that's all for this episode, though. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I know there wasn't a set path or direction to go in this video, but I think that's what starting a new game is about. You know, you kind of have to figure it out. You have to figure out what you're doing. Um, and hopefully, you know, you also join this adventure with me. I'm sure a lot of other people don't entirely, you know, know what's happening. Um, and so maybe I can figure it out with you guys um i really did hope you enjoy though i think in episode two we will go looking for that town but yeah if you guys enjoyed i would really appreciate if you left a like and subscribe for this new episode it really helps me out um and it helps the game out if you want to help spread the word of cube world obviously you know getting the cube world videos more popular um always help with that but anyways again i really hope you enjoyed thank you all so much for watching this is jay wisp and i will see you all in the next one